In this section, I'm going to show you how to choose specific files and folders in your backup. All right, so I have my backup folder here on E, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new repository so we can start from scratch. So I'll do RESTIC minus R and create a files repository. And I want to back up some of my media. So like in previous videos, we would do RESTIC backup and provide a list of files and folders for RESTIC to back up, such as this. And it's complete. Now that was a bit much. If you have a whole bunch of folders and files, this is not very practical. It'd be much easier if we can put this list of files and folders in a text file that RESTIC can look at. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and create a text file and I'll call it include.txt. And in this file, I'll list all the files and folders that I want RESTIC to back up. This is very useful if you have sources from different locations, such as a network, USB device. It's much easier to just store all of it in one file like this. So I've taken this list of folders and put them in a list in this text file. Now we can use the files from option. We do files from and then point to the location of the text file. And it didn't need to back up anything since the data has already been backed up. Let's run snapshots. We've got our two snapshots. And it's just that easy to include and specify a list of files and folders to include in your backup. Now what if you wanted to exclude specific files and folders? We can use the exclude option. There's also I exclude, which will ignore case sensitivity, and we can specify a file. Let's first start with the exclude command. And I'm going to go ahead and first remove our snapshots. I'll just use forget latest twice. And we'll back up everything, except we're going to exclude any folder labeled WAPW, which I know is in my documents folder. So I want to back up all of these folders but I don't want the WAPW folder in my backup. Or we could explicitly state we don't want with the absolute path. But I'm fine with this, so we'll go ahead and do exclude WAPW. And this is done. If we do LS on documents, we see no WAPW folder in our documents path. Just like with the files from option, we can do exclude file and point to an exclude file for RESTIC to exclude files and folders from. In this case, I'll call it exclude.txt and I'll go ahead and create that file here. So exclude.txt And I want to make sure I copy the exact path. I'm going to tell it to exclude the WAPW folder from documents. I'm also going to tell it to exclude this Firefox file, this text file. So the next time we back up, we're going to only back up these folders, but I'm going to exclude the WAPW folder from the documents folder. And I'm going to exclude the Firefox flags file from the documents folder. Let's go ahead and remove our latest snapshot so that we don't have any. And let's run our backup again and use our exclude file. Let's run ls on latest documents. And we see we have no WAPW folder and no Firefox flags text file. The same file filters that we've been using in previous sections will apply to the exclude as well. So if you wanted to exclude all MP3 files, for example, you could do star or asterisk dot MP3. And this will ignore all MP3 files from your backup source. We do RESTIC backup help. You can see the options for the backup command. 
where we have exclude followed by a pattern. We have I exclude followed by a pattern. We've got the exclude file. And you can also do exclude larger than size, which is very useful if there's certain files that are like really big that you don't want included in your backup. So that's very useful and exclude if present. So as you can see, it's pretty simple and straightforward to include and exclude specific files and folders in your backup. In the next section, we're going to be looking at backing up multiple computers with Rustic.